Okay, hello dear friends, take a look at another problem. So ding 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 equal ding 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 a x squared plus b x plus c. Okay, let me just honestly uh, read this, although this is not my native language, I will try my best. 2x times parentheses 3x plus 5 and of parentheses plus 3 times parentheses 3x plus 5 and of parentheses equal ax squared plus bx plus c in the equation above a and b and c are constants if the equation is true for all values of x what is the value of b so you want to find b but there are x is one variable a is a variable b is variable a is unknown b is unknown c is unknown so for this question you need to understand to start with you are not looking for a you are not looking for b you are not looking for c you might end up looking up for a relationship and if just looking at it it does not make sense maybe you are just a super duper smart you can make sense of this question immediately but for majority of you and i we do not understand what is this question is talking about so when the question is not too long and there are not there are many numbers complicate but relatively simple computation just do it okay just do it i remember the other day i went to a shop and uh, there was one one little girl and uh, and hesitating between two pens and her friend said just do it and i said beside just do it anyway so we copy this problem first 2x times 3x plus 5 plus 3 3x plus 5 equal a x squared plus b x plus c actually if i do not copy this i do not even know this is a 3x plus 5 3x plus 5 is actually the same thing anyway we need to dismantle if it is a um, factored polynomial or non-factored polynomial at the end of the day we will need to 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 combine like items and to combine the degrees two degree one degree zero degree combine the degrees to make to classify by different degrees of the variables okay so two no two times three is six x square plus 10 x plus 9 x plus 15 equal a x square plus b x plus c 6 x square plus 19 x plus 15 equal a x square plus b x plus c maybe it's not good to use red pen to write it okay i will change pen i am sorry if i offended if i offended anybody i didn't mean that So if the question is if the equation is true for all values of x, what is the value of b? If this question is true for all value, no matter what x value is, it exists, it must be a equal 
the constant, the coefficient of, uh, of x squared must be the same as the coefficient on the left side. We have the like atoms, like atoms, x to the 2 degree x, 1 degree x, 0 degree x. So this should be the same as uh, this, 2 degrees x squared, and x should be the same as this coefficient and c should be the same as 15. And the question only asks us about the value b, right? You can see it's b, hello, it's b, not you, it's b, not me, it's b. So we only need to figure out the b. So b is 19, okay? Okay, hello dear friends, here we have another question. Ax plus by equal to 12, 2x plus 8y equal to 60. In the system of the equations above, in the systems of the equation above, a and, uh, why there is a y? Okay, a and b are constants. If the system has infinitely many solutions, what is the value of A over B? So this question, if it has infinite solutions, so the upper, uh, the upper um, line function must be exactly the same as the lower line. Uh, of the lower equation. The function of the first one must be exactly the same as the second function so that it is the same function and uh, no matter what x and y change it will have an infinite, it will be the same, it has infinite many solutions. But this question does not ask you what is a and b and so you do not need to calculate really A and B, what is the, 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 the real value of it. It is actually asking you A over B. So at least if the two lines is the same line to begin with, they are parallel. They have the same uh, slope. They have the same ratio. So, so A over 2 must be equal to b over 8 and we switch time a over b equal to 2 over 8. So what is the value of a over b is 1 over 4. Uh -oh. Did you see it? Yeah. So ax so you do not need to calculate exactly what number it is, A and B. You actually, if you want to calculate the, the real number, you can time five. So the bottom part, time five, 60, A is, um, A will be five over five over 2x plus a equal 5 over 2 and b equal 5 over 8. But it does not make any difference because you only want to know the ratio a over b. So a over b must be 2 over 8. So it's 1 over 4. It's a quarter. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, okay. and this one is a pure uh, word problem. It's a, a pure a language, language problem. When four times the number x, four times the number x is added to 12, four times the number x, four times the number x is added to what? To 12. 
the result is 8. Okay, so what number result when 2 times x is added to 7? So what you want to know is 2 times x is added to 7. This is what you want to know. To solve this problem, first get to know what is x. 4x equal negative 4, x equal negative 1. Plug this next x in, negative 2 times negative 1 plus 7 equal negative 2 plus 7 equal positive 5. So the answer is 5, the answer is B. Okay, <coughs> here is another problem y equal x squared uh, minus 6x plus 8. The equation above represent a parabola in the xy plane. Which of the following equa equivalent forms of the equation display the x-intercepts of the parabola as constants? or coefficients. Okay. The coefficient is 1. You already know. So do not worry about coefficient. So when this one asks about x-intercepts, it means y equal to 0. Let's see. This line, this this graph, this function, the graph, is something like it, something like it, or something like it. I did not know, but it does intersect with the y plane. And we will take a look. If you want to know the x-intercepts, the x-intercepts, it means y equal to 0. y equal to 0. And the best way to find this parabola's x value is to make its uh, factored form. So this is a factored form. The rest is not factored form. You do not even need to look into those details if they are the, 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 the correct transformation or not. Because this is the factored form. This shows the value of x, y, uh, x intercepts. x equal to positive 2 and positive 4. So it's actually something like this. Positive 2, positive 4, such uh, uh, a parabola. Okay, a function f satisfies f2 equals to 3 and f3 equal to 5. A function g satisfies g3 equal to 2 and g5 equal to 6. What is the value of f g3? Okay, so we want to know f g3. So first we need to know G3, G3, G3 is 2, so equal to F2, because G3 equal to 2 is given. Now we need to find F G3 equal to F2, F2 is given. So f2 equal to 3. 
what is this question? The answer is easy peasy lemon squeezy.